My name is Will Britton. As part of our commitment to continued improvement of Solvita, we are releasing in 2019 an update for the Solvita CO2 burst method of soil respiration. In collaboration with other soil researchers, we have determined that by two simple changes in the protocol, we can obtain both greater precision and accuracy of the test. It turns out that the original method with 40 gram soil generated more than enough CO2 for Solvita, especially when using the improved wetting method that doesn't overwet soils. Solvita is very sensitive to small amounts of CO2, making it ideal and very accurate for short-term studies. Therefore, we have reduced the soil quantity down to 30 cc's and we are now using convenient calibrated scoops which happen to speed the process up for you. We also increased the jar size to a standard one pint or 475 cc size. The combination of these two changes means Solvita detects a wider range of CO2 more reliably. The following video walks you through this in a few short steps. We believe that testing soil biology, one must treat the soil in a fashion that does not disrupt biomass or cause disaggregation. We have additional instructions in a series of tech memos explaining these factors. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much. To perform the Solvita CO2 burst test, take a soil sample that has been oven dried at 35 to 40 degrees Celsius and then rolled. Scoop a subsample with the 30 cc scoop. Take the striker and level off the subsample in the 30 cc scoop. Then take the beaker and place the subsample inside the beaker. At this point, you will weigh the beaker to determine the soil's bulk density. Then take the small mesh screen, place it on top of the soil sample inside the beaker. 9 cc's of water is then added to the beaker. The screen is there to help the water disperse evenly and gently. Once the water has filtered in past the screen, take the screen off the soil subsample. Place the beaker inside the jar. Then open the pouch. Take the paddle from inside the pouch. Place it inside the sample in the beaker. Take the cap for the jar and twist it tightly on to the jar. The jar then goes into an incubator for 24 hours. After 24 hours, the jar is removed from the incubator, the cover removed, the paddle is removed from the beaker. With the DCR in the low CO2 mode, place the paddle inside the DCR or the digital color reader and press read. You can either record this val value manually or you can use our software Solvita Reader which is provided with every purchase of a digital color reader. This software allows you to collect the data and export it to a CSV file.